you have one year. Whether this is your GCSEs, your A-levels or any other big exam beyond that, you have one year until you have to take it. In this video, I will uncover the steps I would take if I had to go back and do my GCSEs again with all the knowledge I now have. Step number one, work little and often. I cannot emphasize how important this step is. Start as early as you can, even if it's just five to 10 minutes a day. A topic everyone has learnt or will learn about is compound interest. I just want you to look at this picture. If you improve by 1% every day for 365 days, according to this graph, and this is completely proven by maths, you will improve by 37 times from what you currently are. If you leave all your revision and exam preparation until a month before the exam, this is never going to be able to happen, no matter how hard you work you're not going to be able to use this same compound interest to get to where you would if you just started now. All it takes is a piece of paper, a pen, just write some notes down, read from a book, do anything you need to do. It's better than just doing nothing at all. My point number two, something I wish I did earlier, identify your weak points and work on them. Do not procrastinate them. I know how hard it can be when you know you're bad at something, you really don't want to do it. It's the last thing you ever want to do. But trust me, the best thing you can do Go through any recent tests you have or go through the specification because you can find it easily online no matter what you're trying to do and make a list of everything you feel like you don't know 100%. Even if there's only a slight, slight part of that topic you don't understand, add it to the list. There's no harm in making the list longer than it needs to be because when it comes to the exam, if you've got everything in that list ticked off, you will be okay. A quote that I saw online a couple years ago and it stuck with me is if you are unable to explain something to a five-year-old so that they can understand it, you do not know it well enough. Take this mindset into making that list and make sure you're harsh on yourself the whole time. That will get you the best results. If you want a free and easy way to improve at any topic of your choice, my third point takes us on to the sponsor of this video and that is brilliant. Take a quick quiz when you sign up and you will be matched with content that matches your skill level. Whether you're a complete beginner or ready to solve expert problems on a quantum computer. Brilliant is the best way to learn maths, data science and computer science interactively. With thousands of lessons ranging from basic to advanced and new lessons are added every month. Whatever your skill level, Brilliant customises the content to suit your needs and lets you work at your own pace. Whether you are interested in programming, data science, or you just want a bit more help with your GCSEs, Brilliant covers everything. I study degree level maths and using Brilliant, I've been able to polish up my knowledge on calculus, probability, and stats. Some of the tricks and tips I've learned from Brilliant courses have made me think about certain topics in a different way that even my university lecturers could not teach me. You can get started completely for free for 30 days and get 20% off an annual plan by visiting my link brilliant.org forward slash brainstorm. And this will be linked in the description, so go and check that out if you're interested. Trust me, you do not want to miss this. Leading on to my next point, start making revision notes as soon as possible. Now, I've said it a million times in other videos, it is really, really important to find a revision method that works for you. Don't just copy what your friends do because they do it. Don't just copy some online teacher because they told you to do it. Genuinely play around flashcards, posters, mind maps. Online quizzes can work really well nowadays. Find something that works really well for you. Alongside finding a revision method that works for you, do not neglect past papers. Past papers can help you understand exactly how the exam boards are going to ask the questions when it comes to that big exam in a year from now. Whether you're familiar with the content at all, seeing it in a past paper gives you a good idea of how it's going to be asked so that when the teacher does come around to teaching you it, you've already got in your head, oh, I know exactly how they're going to ask me this, so I can now answer this question that I saw before. It works really well, trust me. And this takes me perfectly onto my next point. Do not be afraid to work ahead of the classes and the teachers within the specification. If you do this, all it takes is a quick Google online, YouTube, you can read ahead in the textbook. If you can go into your classes understanding roughly what the teacher is going to be teaching you, just by understanding the basics of it, whether it's a couple words and what they mean, or a method or two, then I guarantee when the teacher's explaining this to you, rather than it just going in one ear and coming out the other, 
it will stick in your brain and you will understand everything the teacher is saying. This is a prime example of working smarter, not harder, because while all your friends are sat there panicking, saying they don't know anything about the topic, you already know, because the stuff the teacher told you actually stayed in your head, because you understood it. And on to my last and probably most important step, is don't just remember facts and methods. It is so important to understand how they work. This will massively help your long-term memory and save you a lot of time in the future. Imagine seven months from now, the topic you did yesterday in lessons, let's say, will you remember that? And the answer, honestly, will probably be dependent on how well you understand it. If it is simply something you memorised from what the teacher said or out of the book, chances are you're probably going to learn a lot of stuff in the next seven months and that is going to be pushed right to the back of your brain and you will not remember it. However, if you understand it properly, that's genuinely going to be ingrained in your head and you will not forget it. I honestly believe this is the main reason people struggle in exams. And after this video, I want you to find a topic from your big list that you're going to make from the specification or the old textbooks from your weaknesses. Go onto YouTube, go into a textbook, anything you want. Just try and understand a bit more about that topic. And I guarantee you this will help you remember it so much better and you may end up looking at it in a different way that you didn't know existed before. But that pretty much sums up my one year plan, exactly what I would do if I had an exam a year from now. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful, and if you want to support the channel even more, then there will be links to my membership options down in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy.